You know, compared with uh, Russia, El Chapo is absolutely a small-time drug dealer. Uh, over the last several Olympics, beginning dramatically with a sudden record-breaking performance by the East Germans in the 60s, performance-enhancing drugs have been all too common in Olympic competition. It's been verified that for years, not only have a number of Russian athletes been doping, the cover-up has been state-sponsored. And because of the brazen involvement of their government, it was thought that there would be no Russian participation in the big Rio games. But Sunday, the International Olympic Committee ruled that there would be no blanket ban. The entire Russian track and field team would not be allowed to participate, but that the eligibility of other athletes would be ruled on by the individual federations governing each specific sport. And to that, I say, good. Why should a fencer or a diver lose what may be their one chance in Olympic success just because a corrupt government helped a weightlifter win a medal? So I also say, let's move on. I'm Pat McMahon. Happy Tuesday.